Hi, my name is Christy Winkleman, and I'm the proud principal at Kyrene de las Brisas Elementary School. Today, I would like to welcome you to a very brief uh, virtual tour of our school. At Brisas Elementary School, we have a very simple mission, and that is to do what's best for kids to ensure their success. We are recognized by the Arizona Education Foundation as an a school of excellence. We have had that distinction now since 2011. Our school is about 600 uh, 650 students um, in terms of our enrollment. We have kindergarten students through fifth grade. We also have two sections of preschool um, for ages three and four. We're a very diverse school. You can see by our graphs there that we have about uh, the majority of our students come from different ethnic backgrounds other than white. And then certainly our, our cultural and language diversity is also evident with the number of students that come to Brisas um, speaking a different language, a first language other than English. Our vision is threefold. We wanna inspire students to love learning, empower them to reach their potential and nurture them in a culture of peace. At Brisas, peace um, is not only the acronym for our core values of pride, effort, achievement, character, and excellence, but it is also the watchword of our behavior management system. So let's begin first with the first part of our vision statement, which is that we inspire students to love learning. So learning at Brisas is, is significant and, it, and you see the evidence of the love for learning in all of the academic areas. For us at Brisa's love of learning means keeping students' natural curiosity alive. We believe that when students are curious, they become interested and engaged and excited about learning. And we know that research shows that people who learn better um, when they're interested and engaged in learning. And so that's what we strive to do. To this end, our teachers strive to not only plan engaging lessons uh, with hands-on activities, but also provide students with opportunities to question and explore. To inspire students to love learning, Brisa's teachers also plan engaging activities, most of which are extensions to their listening and learning units in ELA, which um, isn't just a short abbreviation for English language arts. And we want to also make sure that we can cement students learning in the areas of science and social studies. So something that's unique to Brisa's is that all of our kindergarten through third grade students love this, the opportunity to go to our uh, science lab, uh, which has been supported by our PTSO. They get to go there each week and they get to explore uh, a variety of hands-on experiences experimental learning activities. These are some pictures of our first graders, um, but our students in fourth and fifth grade students also get to benefit from our block schedule, which is 90 minutes of either ELA, math, or science and social studies. Um, however, in our science lab, it's exciting because students have that 90 minutes of dedicated instructional time for science and social studies each and every week. All of our kindergarten through fifth grade students love being able to apply the engineering process to doing STEM challenges, which is just a few of the pictures that you're seeing here as well. Of course, if you ask your children what part of their instructional day they love the most, many of them will say lunch and recess. Um, during the school day, all students get 20 minutes of lunch and students are welcome to bring lunch from home or purchase a nutritious meal from our school's cafeteria. Uh, please know that from now through July of 2022, breakfast and lunch is absolutely free for our students and that the menus are always sent home each month so families can plan accordingly. After students finish their lunch, they head out to recess. Um, this is a picture of one of our two covered uh, playground structured areas. Um, we have beautiful outdoor environments for students. We have two of the, like I mentioned, shaded playgrounds for climbing and other large motor skills. We have game tables under shaded trees, uh, painted four square hopscotch, um, boards with jumbo checkers for additional gameplay. We also have large shaded areas with uh, multiple uh, basketball hoops and large open area that is also shaded for other outdoor activities. Activities. Brisa students definitely love learning inside and outside the classroom. Here is a picture of our PE. So one of the other um, benefits of, of coming to Brisa's and really to any Kyrene school is that physical education occurs um, once a week for 45 minutes and uh, you do, students do get to um, love learning through the special areas and the arts. So PE is taught by one of our certified PE teachers. And again, that's each week for all students in kindergarten through fifth grade. All students also have 45 minutes a week for music class, which is also taught by a certified music teacher. Students sing and use movement, explore rhythm patterns, and use a variety of musical instruments. At Brisas, we also have two performing arts groups. One is our Brisas Mallet Masters, which is a percussion group. Uh, students in third grade are able to audition for this group, and then students then commit to being a Brisas Mallet Master for two years, um, and they perform at all different kinds of concerts and community events, farmers markets, and even on the big stage, 
Disneyland. Uh, we also have a Gecko Singers, um, and that particular performing group is an ensemble for second through fifth grade students and usually happens in the fall and then again in the spring. All students also have 45 minutes a week in art class um, with a not only a certified art teacher, but also an artist herself. Uh, students enjoy all kinds of creative modalities, especially when the work they work um, with clay and get to fire their own artwork in our very own kiln that is right here on campus. All of our kindergarten through fifth grade students also get to enjoy weekly trips to the library where they hear stories and meet authors and check out books. At Brisis, we have um, a larger collection, in fact, of books and a higher rate of circulation of books than our community library, which is right across the street. Technology Technology is also uh, a big deal here at Barisas. I wanted you to make sure that you knew that all kindergarten through fifth grade classrooms have new Chromebooks, so students are able to access a laptop at any time during the instructional day. We are now a one-to-one -one school, so students can bring laptops um, at home uh, when needed. Uh, Barisas also has three state-of-the-art computer labs and large projection screens uh, that teachers use for instruction. Students gain their technology skills needed to communicate and demonstrate their learning. Each week, they also use computers to practice and reinforce their math and reading skills. At Brisis, we also love providing our students with opportunities to explore the computer sciences. All of our students at Brisis are exposed to coding each year, and all students are also interested in learning more about coding can join our free Brisis Coding Club that occurs after school. Last but not least, we inspire students to love learning at Breezes by involving parents in our students' school experience as much as possible. During a typical year, we have hundreds of parents who volunteer each week. Parent volunteers help in the classroom, working with individual students and then also in small groups. And then it also involve um, helping us out in the staff uh, workroom, printing and laminating different curriculum res resources. Uh, parents also become members of our site council and our PTSO. At Brisis, our parent volunteers are key to our success, no doubt about it. In fact, our Art Masterpiece program is one of our volunteer-based volunteer programs where parents are trained to present on famous works of art to the class. And we're fortunate here at Brisis to have an Art Masterpiece volunteer supporting every kindergarten through fifth grade classroom. These parent volunteers also help us put on an annual art walk, uh, which is when we transform Brisis literally into our very own art gallery. Our second part of our vision statement is to empower students to reach their potential. So I wanna briefly just talk to you about how we live that portion of our vision statement each and every day. Academic excellence is important to us. And so one way that we achieve academic excellence is through um, strategically uh, making sure that we are in a constant um, uh, phase of improvement. And so we have specific goals in reading, writing, and math um, each and every year. We celebrate um, and communicate our progress that students are making. This is a picture of um, an assembly that we were sharing the, the students' data and encouraging them to continue to make the progress that they were making in the classroom and that we recognized and celebrated their efforts. Uh, we have 90-day action plans here at Brisis um, where we can constantly be, again, focusing on the specific strategies that we need to, in order to move our students' learning forward. We've also been proud to be a recipient of the results-based funding for achieving, um, one of, being one of the top 10% of all Arizona schools um, for student achievement. This is a graph that just shares a little bit about our Arizona Merit um, achievement data. So Arizona Merit is our statewide achievement test um, that we um, use to measure our students' proficiency with state standards. This particular test um, measures um, student success in, over the Common Core Standards, and it's been in place now since 2015. And so you can see on this graph, uh, we do test students in third, fourth, and fifth grade. We do test in both English language arts and then also mathematics. And so the blue bar at the bottom of your graph reflects the percentage of students across the state of Arizona who were proficient each year um, on that test. And those are some low numbers that I think you know all of us would agree are, are not what we'd be striving for. The bullets uh, above those blue bars reflect the average of students in third through fifth grade um, who passed the test each of those years in Kyrene. And then that purple box uh, above the above all of those data points um, reflects uh, Brisis Elementary Schools, the percentage of students who passed in each of those subject areas each and, um, year from 2015 through 2019. Uh, because of the pandemic, we did not have Arizona merit testing last year, and we did do it this year um, in 2000. Uh, 21, uh, but those uh, uh, 
test results are not out yet. The third part of our vision statement here at Baristas is to nurture students in a culture of peace. Uh, we do that in some very intentional ways. Uh, one, just as much as we um, embrace um, and promote academic excellence, we do the same with social excellence. So we definitely in doing that want to model and teach life skills and all of our students in um, at Baristas know what our life skills are and we practice and reinforce those all the time. Uh, we also have very high behavior expectations here at Baristas and so um, it's important to recognize that at Baristas we are um, a PBI school, which stands for um, Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports. And really what that means is that we consistently adhere to three school rules in every environment here at Baristas, and that is to be respectful, to be responsible, and to be safe. And in doing that, we also just want to celebrate as much as, uh, as, as often as possible the students who are doing that and supporting those who need more support. Um, in regards to social excellence, one of the ways that we do that is by creating a very positive school climate. So you can see with this graph or picture that uh, we, we, we are the home of the geckos and we have a different theme each and every year. And it's wonderful because it just keeps us reinventing ourselves and it's just kind of sets a, a positive tone for students and staff, something to look forward to each and every year. So this year, um, we have been in the Jurassic era. And again, heading into next year, we'll be in a completely different theme, but it will be certainly one that students and staff are looking forward to for sure. Another way that we um, pride ourselves in achieving social excellence is through recognizing and praising students. Um, so we're very intentional about that. We do all kinds of different activities, including principal for the day. We have um, Gordon, who is our great going gecko and he recognizes uh, the classroom that's been the most uh, respectful, uh, responsible and safe um, in the cafeteria. We also have peace bears that uh, go, home with, uh, go home with students for the day or uh, where they can carry them around and, and um, just show all their, their peers about um, how proud they are to be a Breesis gecko. We have daily, weekly and monthly um, incentives and one of those um, each at the end of each quarter is to celebrate with their teachers. So we have different challenges and they get to perform in front of their peers and um, all of us get to cheer them on. It's like winning the lottery um, here at Breesis. And so these are just a couple pictures of, of um, students and teachers celebrating, being respectful and responsible and safe together. We also encourage servant leadership, which is unique to Breesis. And by doing that, we wanna make sure that we build community and empathy and awareness and, and certainly stewardship. And so a couple ways that we do that is with our ABC mentor program. And that is something that we do in partnership with Apprendi Middle School next door, where we have student, students at middle school who are trained um, to be mentors. And then they come over to Breesis and um, about once a week and build a really positive relationship with their mentees. Uh, we also have a student council at Breesis with uh, student leadership um, that represents every single one of our classrooms and they're responsible for doing different initiatives and drives throughout the year. And last but not least, we have uh, what's unique to Breesis, we have what's called the Spark Club. And that too is a leadership um, group that um, takes care of a variety of different um, important responsibilities at Breesis. It's an application process for students in fourth grade. And then uh, through the application process, um, once selected, then they would be serving in our, our Spark Club all of their fifth grade year. And then last but not least, of course, look, thinking of social excellence, we do celebrate our success together all the time. So we do count each of our days um, here at Breesis um, and we consider them whether they've been peaceful days um, and that's on the basis of students being respectful, responsible and safe. And so um, we will announce to students um, each day whether the day before was peaceful and then we tally all of those days um, in increments of 15. And every time we get to the benchmark of 15, then we will submit um, ballots to all of our students and every classroom gets to vote. And then whatever the majority of um, students um, want to celebrate or how they want to celebrate is what we do. And that can take the form of, you know, character day, pajama day, mustache day, sports day, you name it. Um, if students want to do it, um, we are right there in partnership with them celebrating their successes um, as one big school community. Social excellence in, in regards to celebrating student accomplishments also is aligned to our core values of pride, effort, achievement, character, and excellence. And so just briefly, um, one of the core values, the first one I mentioned was pride. And so you can tell we have students who are taking pride in their garden, tending to the garden. Another example of students um, 
living their core value here at Breesis of effort um, would be just specific initiatives that students do uh, individually, either at school or in their community. The, that bottom picture is also reflects students who are doing, showing their best effort on our turkey trot. Other examples of students who are living our core values. Um, one is of achievement, and you can see a couple different pictures there of uh, our intramurals. We are um, a leading school in our after-school intramurals um, in all the different categories. And in our multi-purpose room, you'll see uh, tons of banners that are on display from our students who are um, high achievers um, in as those after-school activities. Um, we also have students who in the past have uh, won in our spelling bee or in our poetry contest. And so we wanna make sure that we honor uh, and recognize those students for their high achievements. The core value of character is also certainly present and reinforced here at Baristas all the time. So we have students who like through our student council who will do different um, hygiene drives or our holiday drives, and then they'll bring all of the items that were donated to our Family Resource Center and um, get those to the end, the families who, who need them. And then we also, each and every year, also take students to uh, feed my starving children um, so that they can um, just have more opportunities to uh, live that core value of, of strong character. And then the last, um, acronym or the last letter in our acronym of peace uh, re re reflecting our core values is the word excellence and, and this is just a, a picture of our 2015-16 our second uh, time receiving the school of excellence award um, and we took this you know large school wide picture in the, in the shape of an a plus and that just is um, a great example of of just being overall a school of excellence and having students take pride um, in being that school of excellence. And then last but not least, peace I had mentioned um, is a really big deal here at Breesis and students will describe Breesis as a very peaceful place. And at this point, they, they definitely expect it. And staff also describe Breesis um, not only as peaceful, but also as a very positive, caring, enriching, supportive, safe, collaborative, upbeat, and focused on every student um, success. And so those are just um, feedback that we've gotten over the years um, in surveys and um, in testimonies. And, and I think that just is a great way to describe um, the culture here at Baristas. So that is a very brief uh, look into our school at Baristas. If you have questions, please do not hesitate to call. You can reach our front office at 480. 541 2000. You can also email me at C W I N K E at Kyrene.org. That's C Winky, C W I N K E at Kyrene.org. And I would be happy to answer your questions and um, help you see the awesomeness that Breeses offers and certainly the opportunity for your little one to join our Breeses family. We look forward to it. Thank you.